This is a quick video about the mark. <laughs> I was reading the Bible and um, and the Bible says right here in the book of Ezekiel, it says that um, it says that the mark is a good thing for the um for the so-called what were they called? the people that were living in the city at that time. So let's look at it. This is Ezekiel 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh, and that cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. So this was a commandment for them to uh, go and mark the heads of the people. In the city with a mark on their forehead, just like in the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation says, And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free, bond, to receive a mark in the right hand. This is how I know the New Testament is a plan. You, you know what I'm saying? It's orchestrated. Crap. New Testament. See what I'm saying? Now let's go. Ezekiel. Um, Old Testament, the mark was a good thing right here. Um, this thing goes forward. And also, I want y'all to also look at what it says right here. It says, and the others, he said, in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite, let not your eyes spare. Neither have ye pity, slay utterly old, young, both maids and little children, and women. But come not near any man upon whom the mark and began at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. So the mark was a sign in the Old Testament that these people were on the side of, I guess, God's people. And... It was a good thing in the Old Testament. So in the New Testament, the mark is the mark of the beast. And it's a bad thing. New Testament is a plan. Old Testament is... I don't like it either because I don't deal with Bible spirit. But... Uh, yeah. So the mark is really a good thing. I'll get the mark of the beast. I won't get it from no government. I mean, the mark of the beast is already in you. <laughs> it's already, it's a part of you. <laughs> you got the beast a part of you. So you don't need to really get no mark at all. But the whole point is the mark of the beast in the Old Testament was a good thing.